Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a general reading for this week. And this reading is intended for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you have any of those in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. Also, don't forget to give some love to the channel. Hit subscribe and the bell icon if you haven't already. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, okay? Let's dive into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. I see somebody actually standing here. Uh, they seem like they're wearing this cape. This can be the cape wearing person is the hermit actually in tarot. Can be a Virgo coming forward for you. Can also mean that um, this can be a teacher, a wise character, a personality, an advice that you are waiting for. It can be on its way to you, okay? I see some tears of joy just popped out of your cup. So this can be some good news coming forth as well. You can see right here too. Let's see what else we have in here. There's a person in the bottom of the cup. This is your heart space. So this can be someone that you really want to get in touch with. Um, maybe someone who has the control over the things that you want to manifest. Seems like they're going to be appearing very soon. I also have here a path is opening for you. This is an unexpected outside opportunity. Okay, This is something that you're not expecting to happen, but it will be coming your way. There's a person here, a woman, a mother, maybe taking care of a child. Uh, this can be you maybe uh, backing someone younger than you are or maybe less experienced than you are. Or uh, this can be you receiving the support that you're needing and this is going to be happening so soon. I see here there's an uphill. However, this is a, like an easy slope for you that you're going to be climbing. And there's a downhill path also appearing here so this uphill can be representative of a challenge coming forth and i see there is a dog on top dog can indicate a person very loyal to you so while you're climbing up this taking on this challenge you're going to be receiving help also you're not going to be left alone while you take on this challenge now i see a person's face here this looks like a male figure right there the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the hair is a little like a, looks like a spider. Because spider creates a web, this can symbolize this person being actually very handy. And you know, the spider's web is kind of like a perfection of the, the nature when you look at it. So this person can have this immaculate work, okay? Maybe whatever they touch, they create something impeccable. That's why this uh, can be symbolizing their hair. Maybe like in their life, they can be um, less, they don't have a life because they are truly dedicated to what they do. And so this can actually symbolize that um, a good support that is dedicated to their work is going to be showing up. I also see a little star here. This is his hair, but when I cover his face, I see a star. Star symbolizes Aquarius energy. At the same time, star indicates the North Star true guidance that you need showing up. Maybe you don't have a purpose or you, you're having a hard time to locate um, where that life purpose is for you. With this person, with the star, Aquarius energy is actually going to be letting, revealing to you that true North, which way to go. Another energy with the Aquarius, like I said, the star card symbolizes wish fulfillment, okay? Um, your desires coming to life, your wishes actually manifesting. Um, this can also symbolize that one, okay? I see here there is actually, this looks like a little um, warm, but it has a face. It has a human face here. When you climb, climb up this hill, there's a chunk of money appearing here for you. And this worm has a face very prominent. So this can be um, someone actually showing up. Maybe someone who has a very little effect in you manifesting this chunk of money. But 
uh, they are carrying the, their little effect is actually the uh, the web of life again the oh, how can we say that um it's like the butterfly effect that they're going to be creating okay this seems like here there's a, like a sword kind of like not 100 percent looks like a sword i see a head here swords usually indicate communication maybe through this experience that you're going to create a friendship a communication line and that can end up you having this beautiful contract that can end up you signing this beautiful contract okay i also see the face of a frog a fish and a bull and the horse Bull means masculine energy. This means that you are needing, in a need to plan and take action towards something that is actually inspiring you, that is coming to your mind, that is, you know, you're being called to this thing, okay? And the frog indicates that when you take action towards it, you, the like the frog leaps further, so much further than its weight and the size, it is going to give you that launch. You're going to be launching further, okay? And you can see that dot on the, the, the third eye, where the third eye located on the face of the frog indicates that you are divinely guided to this thing. You are probably going to be uh, receiving some intuitive guidance, maybe even knowledge, some person may be showing up, a wise personality, and it doesn't even have to be a wise person. Maybe the what is going to connect everything together is actually going to be uh, manifested through your intuition, okay, your intuitive guidance, or maybe like you're going to be hearing some messages. So it's very important at that moment to pay attention to what's going on around you and who's talking what. There might be an information for you there if you listen carefully. I see another path appearing here. There's a person waiting for you at the end of this path. And I see communication lines, phone lines outside here. So this can be someone that you're connecting, you're talking to, it can be in another country. And uh, there's a path opening for them to arrive, but the, you might be facing with someone aggressive here initially. I see a number eight. This also symbolizes the, uh, the eternity, the um, infinity. So whatever that effort that you're putting here that is leaping you forward is actually going to be a source of something for the long term in your life. Another thing with this aggressive person, this can also be a way for you to handle whatever the experience that you're going to be gaining out of this situation is the fish, the money that is coming in also when you leap further and just apply, take action. And also going to be affecting this person as well, maybe uh, helping them to, you know, do not intervene with the situation anymore or push them aside so you can do your own thing. I see the letter V. This also looks like a beautiful cup. You're inside of this and you're lifted up. You're inside of it and you're being lifted up here. So this can be a promotion that you're waiting coming forward or even maybe good messages because I see an envelope here. This can be a swift message coming forward unexpectedly. And I also see there's a man, there are two people here side by side. They look like they're siblings. They look very similar to me. Um, and there's a third one too, but they are actually a little bit grumpy. So I'm not gonna say this is Three of Cups celebration. I feel like this is actually Three of Pentacles teamwork. Um, you can be forming this teamwork with the people that you're not happy with. However, this is actually going to be a pathway for you to create the things that you want, okay? It is initially going to create the pathway so you can stand alone right here. I, I see a baby that you're grabbing a baby, you're holding up a baby. This baby can be symbolizing this new thing that you're working on. Maybe you're building something, a house or something like that. You might need somebody else's support while you're doing that so take it even if you don't want it as of right now because uh, in the long run you're going to be very satisfied with it i see a male figure here the eyes and the mouth the face kind of reminds me that um i was gonna say john bon joey but it's not the john bon joey the guy oh uh, no this is british musician 
his face is in front of me now. He has this uh, picture. He's passed now. Um, the picture he has like a lightning bolt in in his face. Um, he was married to Iman. I couldn't remember him. Oh my gosh, his name didn't come up. Okay, so uh, he reminds me of that. This person, this can be an inspiration coming forward for you, uh, like a rock star inspiration coming for you, or maybe um. I couldn't remember his name. I sometimes like, you know, draw a blank like that. So if you remember, if you don't know him, just write his na name down below. And this is an inspiration coming forward for you. And also this is, can be an idea that you're actually discovering. Maybe a creative endeavor that you want to start. Something related to music that you want to jump in. That is you're being called to. And that is also going to be showing up for you. Okay, you're going to have to get the chance to do that. I also see like kind of like a face of a serpent here. This can indicate that you're going to have a very good your energy is going to be rising very soon. And with that energy, the inspiration can come through as well. Serpents usually indicate Kundalini energy. Um, this can be like a divine connection. Or also the creative uh, juices might start flowing like very soon. Okay. Let's get into your plate. Now, if you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's a, a keyhole. In your heart space here keyhole can be something that you're trying to unlock this is a british musician i kind of like his name it was john what was his name mm, i i remembered his wife's name <laughs> he was married to supermodel iman Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, there's a keyhole in your heart. There's an unlocked door. Your desire coming slowly but surely, okay? It doesn't have long of a time, but it has some time. There's a keyhole, like I said. There is something you locked away. There is something you want to do. Maybe you didn't get the chance. And maybe somebody actually buried it down there. Uh, that an idea is something that you are passionate about. And this time, the path is actually directly opening it to towards that. And there is a bunny right here. Rabbit, bunny rabbit. They symbolize fast-growing wealth. So whatever it is, then when you open the path for it, the bunnies, the abundance will actually going to be coming with this thing that you locked away. This can be a talent that you have doesn't have to be artistic maybe you are a very good speaker or you're a good knitter whatever it is and uh, you are locking away you're not showing it to the world this can be something about that coming forward i see there's a protection bubble but your thoughts are actually keeps burying this thing okay or maybe this can be also family member not encouraging you the people surrounding you not encouraging you maybe that's why you're pushing this down however the path is opening and it seems like it is going to bring a lot of abundance there you go the chunk of money right there if you can actually go back and discover whatever it is and even like entertain the thought of executing that, just going with that idea. And let's see what it is going to be bringing you. This is, I said like this is for this week. However, it doesn't mean that everything that I'm saying is going to be happening in this week. Okay. The timelines can change to, for people and it really depends on your energy uh the changes of the timeline really depends on your energy like whatever that uh if you believe you will receive okay if you believe it's going to be happening right away it will happen right away there you go we have the star card number 17 archangel Raphael, and says happy times positive optimistic and long-term make positive optimistic and long-term plans and you're on the right path okay so whatever that you're actually thinking about manifesting it is on its way to you this is the queen of fire which is your feminine energy uh, queen of wands is there is leo sagittarius this can be you also someone very similar to you showing up in your energy field uh, she is sure of herself warm smart and grateful and says fly by opening up your wings realize your abilities 
uh, defend your freedom and creativity so we have the creative energy also showing up so it, it's time for you no matter where you are and whatever you're planning it is time for you to connect with that energy of creativity i have the ace of cups here for you falling in love or a resurgence of a new love um spiritual growth and increasing intuition and a new home new home can be a um, new home that you're creating with someone a loving energy that you're actually building up with someone or maybe literally if you're planning this is actually going to be happening also in this timeline we have the uh, night of fires which is also your energy and this is passionate adventurous and someone sure of themselves again uh, confident okay and hasty can be hasty a little bit um there's going to be a moment of an event happening which is going to be getting your attention right away timing is very important and it tells you to think carefully about what you're doing and maybe take steps towards it but whatever that you set in motion in mind um if you have a plan like if you plan something out already it is going to be showing up for you in a victorious way with the six of fires here six of wands this is also your energy there is a massive victory good news are on the way and you're going to be getting public recognition and rewards of the hard work that you put out there so whatever it is like this we have this eclipse energy is actually changing the course of the things coming our ways so it seems like here if you're manifesting love that is for sure coming through with someone very compatible with your energy also another thing if you have a victorious idea maybe buying a house uh you know winning something being accepted to a school with the star cards aligning with the six of wands is actually telling you there's no time left at all it's going to be happening super fast for you okay maybe you're not even seeing it yet we have the magician in the mirror so the magician has the skill set to create everything that he wants however like there's also a reflective mirror right next to him okay he needs to be um seeing himself in the mirror rather than just you know not looking at it and not considering what's happening in his life and this card is all about knowing your true power and using it okay and you have an amazing strength and power but what you're doing is you're turning away from it you're not staring it in like in the eye and if you don't keep like looking away from your power and if you keep waiting for other things to other people to come forth and help you out that is going to take a long time for you to accomplish your heart's desire so it's good to look and see your power we have the angel of strength here this has lion on it fire leo energy again Angel of Strength also is someone probably showing up um, to help you out or can also be indicative of your personal power, inner strength, okay? It says um, this angel is actually coming in a time that is going to bring you amazing good news. It's not time to be passive or, you know, humble. It's time to speak your own truth and take action, inspired action. Your inner strength is actually going to be showing up at this time. You're going to be manifesting a lot of like um, your power. This might come through the experiences that you're having. Maybe the people around you is going to be pushing your buttons. But this is, don't take it in a negative way. This can be actually something very useful for you in the long run. Because uh, whatever that the buttons they push, they're going to be pushing you towards the things uh, maybe you don't usually do and uh, they're go you're going to be coming up with this creative ideas maybe you wouldn't usually come up with if this wouldn't happen after talking about fire 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 all over the place we have the phoenix coming forward here empower fire act activations bring creative and spiritual freedom so phoenix is actually being reborn rebirth from the ashes okay learning the lessons and moving on so whatever that you have been through there is something that you're learning here so if you pass the, the teaching you keep repeating it the best approach to the situation is actually asking the questions like what am i learning from this experience rather than feeling sorry for yourself because not everything happens for a reason and the element of this 
um, phoenix is a fire obviously and um, it tells you that the phoenix rises from the flames in a powerful activation of your sacral and solar plexus chakra he speaks of creative and spiritual freedom showing many chains that may have restricted you are now breaking apart this energy is being recycled within you being transmuted to something powerful a surge of fire that will help you focus and accelerate on your path okay wow this sounds amazing guys i hope this resonates with you this was a great read all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye